The highly stylized form of Japanese theatrical art, kabuki, has seen many a talented actor grace the stage, but none other like one legendary kabuki actor which stood apart from the rest. This was a man by the name of Ichikawa Danjiro XII, who was arguably the most influential out of all the Danjiro bloodline. Ichikawa Danjiro XII shaped and was shaped by kabuki and influenced how the art form is continued to be practiced to this day. While Danjiro encountered seemingly countless obstacles in his personal life, the path laid out in his professional career was as clear as day, a path which led him to veritably change the entire style of kabuki as we know it to be. Let us dive deeper into the life and times of the man behind the makeup. Danjiro's early life, while destined for success, was also a rough journey. One could argue that his career began almost immediately ever since his birth on the 6th of August, 1946. His father at the time was Ichikawa Danjiro XI. The child who became the eventual 12th Danjiro had the birth name Natsuo Horikoshi, before taking the stage for the first time in 1953 at the measly age of seven. Horikoshi suffered multiple deaths in the family, including that of his grandfather Matsuo Koshiro VII, both before and soon after his debut on stage. However, it looked as if things would take a turn when, in 1965, Horikoshi's father, Ichikawa Danjiro XI, passed away. Horikoshi was only 19 at the time. But the loss of his father didn't stop him from reaching for and achieving greatness. Horikoshi graduated from Nihon University's Drama Department program in 1969. Prior to 1985, he assumed multiple stage names, including Ichikawa Shinosuke and Ichikawa Ibizo X. He played a plethora of roles on the stage, some of which he had the opportunity to play on a national stage. Horikoshi even made it international, stepping foot on a stage in the United States. Then in 1985, Natsuo Horikoshi took on the name Ichikawa Danjiro XII. This was a rare name, rare enough that only those within his bloodline could adopt the name Danjiro. Reflecting back on his earlier years, Danjiro admitted to the pressure of living up to the name he had worked so hard to reach until he focused more on himself and his abilities. Following his official ascent into the Danjiro family, Ichikawa saw a bright future for him that lay ahead. Following his entrance into the world of entertainment, Ichikawa continued to rise the proverbial ladder. The audiences that were privileged enough to witness Ichikawa Danjiro XII perform in person were captivated by his simply unmatched displays of expertise. Through his performances, Ichikawa received multiple awards, including but not limited to the Matsuo Gaino Prize in 1986, and he even made a number of television appearances on TV Tokyo. It was at this point that, arguably, Ichikawa became known widespread as a phenomenon. Judging by the expected ticket revenue from a limited run of over 3 billion yen within a single month in 1985, it is safe to say that referring to Ichikawa Danjiro XII as a shining star would be an understatement. In an interview with NHK, Ichikawa himself admitted that, while at the time he was surrounded by international appeal and praise, quote, Our focus shouldn't be on winning over or pandering to foreign audiences. Our culture is the basis of our identity. It's what makes us who we are. We should be a little more proud of it, I think." End quote. Ichikawa's most notable roles in the context of Kabuki include Tadanobu in Yoshitsune and the Thousand Cherry Trees, Musashibo in The Subscription List, Sukuroku in the performance of the same name, and Yosaburo in Genyadana. However, his career continued to rise further and further. Later on in his life, Ichikawa encountered a new type of problem, issues with his own health. Nonetheless, he persevered in making new discoveries in the world of Kabuki. In an interview in 2007, Ichikawa claims that the characteristics of ma, or deliberate inclusion of pausing in action, as well as differentiating the expression of emotion through both facial expressions and paralinguistic cues, are crucial to emanating a truthful performance in Kabuki. Despite his battle with his own health, 
Ichikawa still won numerous awards, but he decided to traverse another route and became part of the Japan Art Academy. Still, Ichikawa Danjiro XII's own body would hold the end of his life in the air. Beginning in 2004, Ichikawa suffered from acute promelocytic leukemia, but that didn't even stop him. He returned to the stage in 2008, even while suffering through the restrictions of his illnesses. Tragically, however, Ichikawa Danjiro XII died on February 3, 2013, of pneumonia. He was 66 years old. His death was more than a shocking turn of events for the world of the Kabuki. Yet, to this day, we reminisce on Ichikawa Danjiro XII's contributions. No matter what obstacles presented themselves, he got back up and pushed through these obstacles to secure his place in theatrical history, both in Japan and overseas. He will live on as a bright and shining beacon of hope and creative inspiration for audiences and performers of Kabuki for generations. All watch in awe as the mastermind strikes a pose.